So another video on the first gen. So tonight we are going to, I am going to take this porta band and I'm going to cut the end of this snout off. So basically I'm just going to cut it in here, porta band, then we're going to go over to lathe and machine it because I want to see how much, I need to know how much I need to, um, what am I trying to say here? I need to figure out how the end of this is going to look when I'm done machining it and whether or not I can make it so it's a receiver. So basically like it'll have like a, a snout on it. So it'll slide inside this tube. I think that's the way they did it from factory, but I can't remember. I have done one of these before, but it was a really long time ago, like really long time ago. And it was on a Dana 60. This is a Dana 70. So it could even be different. So anyways, I'm going to take this porta band. I'm just going to cut this off. It's not going to be straight. Doesn't matter. Um, I figured that we need to cut out five inches. So I'm going to cut five inches out of it is what the, how much we're going to cut out. We're going to cut five inches out, but I need to figure out before I do any of that, because we're probably going to pull the diff out to do that. Um, I'm going to get some stuff tomorrow so that I can uh, make up the... Um, parts to make it so that it's perfectly straight like the jig pieces i was going to do that today and just got busy doing other stuff so i didn't get to it but we're going to cut this off take it over to lathe and machine it so like i said we're going to cut five inches out of this here somewhere out of this area and but i got to see what we're going to do with this how this is going to look and if whether i need to buy a piece of material to sleeve it or something i don't know like i said i don't know exactly what it's going to look like but we will find out very shortly so let's uh cut this off And then there we are. Oh yeah, it definitely has a snout inside it by the look of it. So we're gonna take this over to lathe. I'm gonna pop these bolts out. This one's actually already loose. I am gonna pop these bolts out. Actually, that one will be loose too. Um, we're gonna take it over to lathe. I'm gonna chuck it up in the lathe and close that one. And then machine it and see what we're gonna get out of machining this. Okay, hey guys and girls, <clears throat> we are going to cut this thing up a bit. I'm probably going to put this in a time lapse because probably whoop, nobody's going to watch the whole machining part. But I just figured I would talk a little bit. Let me know down the let me know down the comments if this is stuff that you guys would like to see of the actual like full machining process, I guess. Not too bad. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna part this off right here. I think I'm just gonna part this off and then we're just gonna machine it down because you can see where that's been welded. So I think I think that I should be able to just to cut this weld out of here and then there should be a snout on the end of that. But I don't know for sure. So we are going to just cut some weld out of there and see what it looks like. slop but that's okay what i'm going to do is i'm going to pull that out throw it in the wash wash it up and then we'll go over to the truck figure out what we're going to do there but i got to do a couple measurements so that when i do the other side i can make it exactly the same as this side and uh yeah we good all right guys i don't know how well you're going to be able to see in here but um i have Figured out where we got to cut this off. You can see where I've marked it here. And what I did was I just took that hose clamp and you'll wreck the hose clamp usually doing it, but it's easy to mark it. Is you put the hose clamp around it like this and you get it squared up. The hose clamp won't be perfectly square. So you'll have to square it up off of a surface. 
I took a bunch of measurements before I cut this apart because you want to take every measurement you can. If you don't, sometimes you'll get screwed by yourself because you think you know what you're doing and you don't. So even though I've done a bunch of these, I take every measurement that I can to start with before I cut it off to begin with and you don't put your foot in your mouth um, or try to figure it, then have to screw around trying to figure out what you did wrong. So I've marked this and this edge here to that to inside here to right here is 15 and 9 sixteenths is what that measurement is. And that's basically taking the, the five inches out that I want and then also that little piece extra that I left on the flange because the, or on the spindle piece. This piece here, I'll show you. After I got it machined, I bead blasted it too just because it was crusty looking. So this, so I was measuring to this flange, right? So I have to subtract this piece from what we're cutting out of there. Makes sense, hopefully. So with that subtracted out of there and our five inches and all that stuff, so you're gonna have to cut your five inches out, but then this you have to compensate for. So technically we're not cutting, well, we're cutting five inches out, but because we're, we're leaving this little piece here and then the rest over there. So I'm gonna cut that off, clean it up a little bit, and then we'll slide this in and do a couple more measurements. I'll put it in time-lapse cutting that off. And then I'm gonna do a couple measurements, make sure we didn't screw anything up. Pretty sure we didn't, but make sure we didn't screw anything up. Um, now I did, cut a little bit extra like an extra 16th because when I go to weld this on I want to have a little bit of an edge here and I might actually even chamfer this and chamfer the truck side as well but we'll see just gonna see what it looks like this is gonna have we'll be able to get a real good weld on this side so I might just chamfer that side we'll see I haven't decided yet but let's get this thing cut off and then we can slide this on see what's gonna look like I am gonna clean the inside of the tube a little bit just the, the first, I don't know, this much or something with a wire wheel on a die grinder. Um, just because there is some crusty junk in there that I want to get out. And then we'll probably run a bottle brush through it or something before we uh, before I actually weld it on. But I wanted to cut it down. I wanted to see what the tire is going to look like and all that stuff before I do the other side. So because I if I had to change something or maybe I'm going to cut out more, um, it's easier to do it to one side than it is to do it both after you've already done it. So put you in a time lapse. I'm going to crouch down in there and cut that off. guys so we got that cut off i just threw the hub on here like i said i be blasted that as well this is not on here like it's it's gonna sit just a little bit straighter i just wanted to put the tire on there and see what it looks like and see if we got enough cut out of it here yet so i'm just gonna go grab the tire we're gonna throw it on there and see what it looks like All right, I 
think we're going to have to go a little bit more, I think. But I guess we'll see. It's a little bit, it's easier to take a little bit more off than take So I'm gonna to to do some measurements. We're not in. Too, we're not in far enough on this side, but I based all my sides, all my measurements off of this side. And I'm wondering. So if you look down this box side, this box side is relatively straight. Now this trucks. I don't know what happened. It was like this when I got it. But if you look at this box side, get this light facing the other way so you guys can see. So if you look down this box side, I don't know if you guys will be able to see that or not, but right here, right here, this box side does this. And I bet that it's probably shoved, we're gonna have to shove that out a little bit. Cause I think that that is part of our problem. I'm gonna do a few measurements, but I like the way that it looks. And that's five inches cut out. I, I like the way that that looks. I don't mind it. And it gives us, well, we're not quite in all the way on that flange. You guys probably won't be able to see that, but I think I might. I'm not just a hundred percent sure what to do. <clears throat> I wish I could get that tire three or four inches wider. I know that, but. I think, hmm, I actually kind of like where the tire is. I'm going to have to do some measurement. I'm going to have to do some measurement on this side versus that side because what I'm wondering is if this box side is bent in like this, it could be throwing us off because basically what I was trying to do was I was just trying to get this edge of the tire to not even miss this inside edge. Like you look at that edge there, that edge where it's clean, not even to miss that. I oh, yeah, can actually, that's actually dented a little bit. Tire's not perfectly flat, but it's pretty close. Cause basically what I want to do is I think I'm going to roll this edge up a bit or maybe even just cut it off. I think, yeah, this edge here. But I'm going to have to just take a little bit of look in and see because that, like I said, that box side bent in. I wonder if that's screwing us up here. And I would like it to be straight anyway, so maybe I'll monkey around with that. Uh, you guys know Matt, my buddy Matt with the Volkswagens, crank and wagon. Um, I, uh, he's a paintless dent removal. That's what he does for a living. And he, you know, works on cars and stuff too. But his primary work, he does... Uh, paintless dent removal. So I asked him about coming down and 
um, trying to fix the body on this truck just a little bit. I don't, I really don't want to repaint it. So right now, anyway, it might get repainted one day, but probably going to have to straighten that. We're definitely gonna have to straighten that box side out. This side's actually not bad, but really for the, tr for the year of the truck and the abuse it's went through, it's actually in pretty decent shape and it's almost rust free. There's a little tiny bit of rust, a little tiny bit on the roof, but a little tiny bit of rust here and there, but this truck is actually in really good shape for what it is. So we are going to do stuff, but I'm gonna have to do, I might take another quarter of an inch out of that flange and, and then we'll see. 